Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin and if you're like me, you like fishing, you got a boat, a bass boat or a walleye boat or whatever kind of fishing boat you like. And you have this kind of uh, mounting system on your hatch lids with aluminum rivets. Then you're going to run into this problem. And the problem is that over time, because of the moisture, this uh, aluminum rivets will corrode and you're going to end up with your lid separating from the hinge. So today's video is going to be all about fixing this problem. This is uh, the live well lid out of my 620 Ranger VS. And uh, I've seen other videos, um, some ranges have this problem, other manufacturers have the same problem. So this is a pretty much common problem with this uh, mounting system where they use aluminum rivets. In my case the size of the rivets uh, is 316 so I'm going to be using a sharp 316 bit. This is a cobalt bit. It's very sharp. And I'm going to remove the old rivets out of this uh, hinge. So let's get to it. They should not give you too much trouble, but you might run into one or two that it's going to be a little harder to remove. I'm using this piece of wood under here so I don't damage my work table. Okay, so this came out fairly easy. So now we are going to focus on the lid itself. After looking at the lid and uh, trying to come up with a plan to remove these, because I don't know if you can see, but it kind of have this sharp left over. This is the pin inside the rivet. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up or not. So it'll be pretty difficult to drill out that rivet out of there. Uh, I might just try to tap it in because I'm this lids the way these lids are made they have a double wall it's like a wall on the bottom a wall on the top and there's it's hollow in the middle in between them and it's got about a six uh, half an inch thickness uh, on the wall here in the back where the hinge mounts so I'm gonna try to see if I can tap this in and use the same hole so I'll be using a nail set and let's give this a try, see if I can, I'll be able to tap him in. If not, then I'll be drilling different holes all together. So let's give this a shot and see what happens. Okay. It looks like the center of the, the pin of the rivet went in. This one is got stuck in here. There you go. And then I might be able to drill out that aluminum sleeve. So let's see if I'll be able to drill the aluminum sleeve out. <laughs> I'm running into that on the bottom there and that's a little harder I don't know what material that is it might be steel that's why it's okay. this one the second hole the second hole here I was able to drill it through so that's good now let's see what we can do about the third hole if I'm able to do the same thing over here Okay. There 
there you go so i was able to drill <laughs> i was able to drill this one out too and get this okay camera a little bit that way let's keep going this one out and this one I'm hitting that pin I might have to tap it in a little more let's move to the last one see if I can get this one done and then I'll come back to the other ones that I was not able to do you gotta fight this carpet too because it's on your way. Let's see. Okay, so this hole was done. Now let me put the camera down and see if I can get the other two. Okay, so I was able to uh, punch in all the pins of the rivets and drill out the, the rivets themselves and now I'm gonna be using uh, stainless steel rivets this time I don't want this to break ever again so I'm gonna be using 316's 18 uh, 8 stainless steel rivets uh, this I got in from McMaster car I'm gonna put some links in the description below if you guys want to pick these up these are 316's 18 8 stainless steel by about three quarter of an inch long and to install these you'll need a quality rivet gun uh, this is a made in usa gun it's pretty solid i've been using it for the past couple of years and it's doing good so you're gonna to need to spend some money on a good uh, quality rivet gun otherwise you're not going to be able to pull this stainless steel rivets these are a lot stronger than your average aluminum rivet so let's give this a try let's get the hinge in place and see how easy to mount these rivets so i got this uh, hatch lid on the floor so i can put a little bit of pressure on my gown onto the river when i pull it so let's get a shot i know it's not gonna be easy but let's see what we can do These are a little long. Okay, almost there. I can feel it. Oh man, it's gonna give you a workout. There you go. First one in, four to go. Ah, okay, second one done.
glad that's done. Well, so there you have it. Five new stainless steel rivets. And I know that these won't ever corrode or break. So that's it. All that remains is to install this uh, back into the boat. This hatch actually has two hinges like this. There's another one on the other side. And I'm going to do that later. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, you know what to do. Smash the like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.